Welcome to Accounting in Focus. Today we're going to talk about activity-based costing. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a sample problem that compares plant-wide overhead rates versus activity-based costing rates. So I've got some information up here in the box and this is for a company that makes two different products. They make the breath product and the travel pack. And we have taken their total overhead and broken it down into three categories. Materials handling, packaging, and quality assurance. Here's the cost for each activity and the activity base that we're going to be using. So for material handling, the activity that most closely relates to the cost of material handling is how many kilos of material we're moving around. For packaging, it's machine hours. And for quality assurance, it's how many samples are we going to take a look at. For each product, I've got the number of kilos used in each product, the machine hours for each product, and then the samples made for each product. Okay, so how many samples are looked at. I've also got the number of units made of each product. Now, before this company converted over to activity-based costing, they used a plant-wide overhead rate, and their plant-wide overhead rate is $300 per machine hour. So let's take a look at what their total overhead cost and their cost per unit would have been per unit using the old plant-wide activity rate. So if you remember, in order to calculate plant-wide overhead, we're going to take the amount of overhead per hour. So we'll say for... Oops. Okay, so let's first let's calculate the rates for each item and we'll calculate the total overhead. So what I'm going to do is for So in order to calculate my rate, I'm going to take $300 per machine hour times 1,500 machine hours for breath, and that gives me $450,000 total. And I'll put up here that this is for B. For travel pack, my cost is still $300 per hour. Remember, this is traditional, times 500 machine hours. So that gives me total cost of 150000 Now, if I wanted to calculate the amount of overhead per unit, like we've been using in problems lately, I would divide each one of these numbers by the total number of units. So I take 450,000 divided by 2,600 units, and that gives me $173.08 per unit. For my travel pack, I would divide that by 60,000 units and that equals two dollars and fifty cents per unit. Okay, so that's using the traditional plant-wide overhead method. Now let's break this down and let's put this in terms of activity-based costing. When you're doing activity-based costing, the first thing that you need to do is you need to calculate your rates. Okay, so that's the first thing that you always want to do is you want to calculate your rates. So I'm going to put material handling, packaging, and we'll say QA for quality assurance. Now remember we have to, in order to calculate the rates, we're going to take the total cost for that activity. So in this case, 180000 And I'm going to divide it by the base, 18000 That gives me... ten dollars
for each kilo. For packaging, we're going to do the same thing. 420,000 divided by 2200. Okay, and that equals $190 and 91 cents per machine hour. And if you want, you can write that over there so then that way you remember what the base is. It's like here we can put $10 per kilo. Okay, and then for quality assurance, same thing. 118,000 divided by 1,700 samples. And that equals 69.41 per sample. Now that we've got the activity rates, now we need to apply those rates based on the activity that has occurred and calculate the total cost of overhead for each product and then the cost per unit for each product. So let's go back over here. So let's look at B again. And I'm going to mark this one B, A, B, C. Okay. So under activity-based costing for materials, I'm going to take my rate of $10 per kilo times 8,000 kilos, and that gives me 80,000 for packaging. We're going to take our rate of $190.91. And we're going to multiply that. Let's see. For packaging, that's machine hours. So that's 1500 And that equals 286364 and then for quality assurance, quality assurance is based off of samples. So we're going to take $69.41 and multiply that by 270 samples. And that equals 18741 If I add up my total costs, my total costs are 385,105. And now if I divide this by the number of units that we did for breath, then I get, I'm going to divide that by 2,600 units. And that equals 140 eight dollars and twelve cents. Now notice how that compares to the 173 that I got over here. Okay, so I've got 17308 over here. I've got 14812 under activity based costing. Now why do we have so much of a difference? Well if you notice under act, under activity based costing okay we're only using the machine hours for packaging okay samples for breath we use less samples for breath than we do for travel pack okay and notice that the kilos are a lot closer under breath and travel pack i mean for mach for machine hours breath is using up 75% of the machine hours travel pack is only using up 25. So let's look at let's look at travel pack and see what happens. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing for travel pack under ABC. And this time I'm just going to put I'm just going to write down the numbers. Materials, packaging, and quality assurance. Okay, so I'm going to take $10 times 
6,300 and that equals 63,000. For packaging, I've got 190, 91 times 1,500 and that equals 95,455. Sorry, that's a comma. And then under quality assurance, I've got let's see, sixty-nine dollars and forty-one cents times three hundred seventy, and that gives me twenty-five thousand six eight two. And so my total is one hundred eighty-four thousand one thirty-seven. And if I divide that, I'll put that over here, divided by the number of units, which I've got 60,000 units, equals 307 per unit. So look how much higher that number is. Look, we had 250 under traditional costing, and we've got 307 under activity-based costing. And again, that makes sense. I mean, if you look at this, we've got almost a 50-50 split here right? And actually the sample number is higher for travel pack than it is for breath. So what we're seeing here is we're seeing a more accurate representation of the resources that are being used. Using just one number like machine hours is really skewing our numbers off. So that's why you're seeing the higher number under activity-based costing for travel pack. Okay, and you know it's a lower cost for breath. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please submit them to me.